There is one thing that is really important when streaming MTG Arena on Twitch, and that is having extensions. There is especially one extension that is very important to have, and that is Deckmaster. Deckmaster enables the viewer to hover the battlefield and display the cards on both the battlefield and in the player's hand. Another important extension to have is the deck hub extensions, which can show the viewer the deck you're currently playing by clicking a button on stream and displaying the cards. This is less important than a deck master extension. Uh, I like to use it. Uh, some users that are drafting and uh, play a lot of different decks don't use a deck extension. That is fine. As long as you have the deck master extension, you are good to go. Uh, but one extension I like to use is the deck hub panel extension, which is the panel extension or the panel version of that extension. It shows the the uh, your latest decks from your eTrub profile. I find that quite useful. Uh, so what we're going to do now is walk through how to install these. You can manually find the extension on Twitch or you can go on eTrub under Twitch and click extensions. Here you will find both the deck up extension and the deck master extension with links and also instructions on how to install them. So to install deck master, you just click this link. We are taking we are taken to the deck master overlay extension on Twitch. You can also search for this manually with the search bar. So we are going to install this and after it is installed, we will configure the extension. The thing you have to do now is download the application. I will go ahead and do that. You will probably be greeted by this message that says that Windows Defender has prevented an app from running. We do trust this software, so we are going to run it anyway. Okay, so I have installed the software and it is ready to go. Since I have installed it earlier, all the setup is already complete, but this will automatically complete. You need to have this software open while playing the game. Uh, so the way Deckmaster works is that it reads the log files MTG Arena produces. Uh, and from there it, it can tell which cards have been played and not, and the state of the battlefield. All this information is sent to Deckmaster server and can be viewed on Twitch by your viewers. Okay, so that is done. We want to put Deckmaster on overlay number one. That is the only, uh, that's the only place you can put Deckmaster. We're also gonna install the Deck Hub. The Deck Hub is Etherhub's extension. Uh, to do that, we need to search for deck hub or you can click the link on the website there are two deck hub extensions uh, the reason you can see more here is because i since i created this extension i also see the the test the test versions of new versions first we are gonna install the main deck hub extension the one that enables users to see the current deck played and view the cards in your deck so we're going to install this by clicking the install button and then we want to configure it. Uh, so you can see that this is already connected to my account. Uh, I will click this, connect to a different account and this is how it looks when you first install it. So I have to put in my username and then I have to put in my Twitch secret. My Twitch secret can be found on the eTrub webpage so let's go there. It can be found under edit profile. So the secret Twitch key can be found here. I click this copy button. Uh, I will not do that uh, right now because it will display the whole uh, secret to you. So I copied it and then I'm gonna paste it in and click connect. And now it is connected. It is connected to my Etherhub account and it will display the deck I'm currently playing. Uh, to select a currently played deck, 
uh, I can go to browse decks or I can go to my decks. So if I go to my decks, I can set any of my decks as my current Twitch deck using this button. So if I want to play Revenge of the Sushi, I just click this and that is now currently set as my currently played deck uh, in my channel. And this happens automatically. You don't have to set up anything in OBS or anything like that, but you do have to activate the extension and select which where you're going to put it. So we have to put we are going to put it in component number 1. Uh, this is where you position the extension. So the place where you should put it is on the top left, the very top left. Uh, this is because this is gonna go over the deck master extension, meaning that uh, users are not able to hover things um, in this area because this is where the deck hub extension is. Uh, but they can hover your graveyard and also the rest of the battlefield. So we have made this very slim so that users can hover basically the whole battlefield without this being in the way. And users uh, will only see a little button around here that you saw in the beginning that they can click and expand the list. So we're going to put that as the position, save it, and that is everything you need to do. So now you have the deck hub active together with the deck master extension. Uh, for the last, we're gonna install the other deck hub extension, which is the Palin extension, and this shows the decks in your profile. It's basically the same. You press configure and uh, it is already connected. It's the same as the last uh, last extension where you have to paste in your Etherhub Twitch secret key. So that is configured and it is available as a panel. So we're going to go over to my channel and configure it as a panel. So I'm clicking on edit panel and I need to add a new panel, add an extension, and set this as panel number three, which is the one I just created. Go back to my channel and I should see it. See it here. This will show my latest play decks in the list. You can see here in my list, we have on top Gruul Agro, Judith's Pirates. This is also the... Uh, and then you also have a link here to your eTrib profile. They can click. In addition to this, uh, I also recommend you to... If you already have a Twitch bot, it is really easy to show the current deck you're playing. Uh, by adding a manual command with deck or uh, exclamation mark deck or exclamation mark deck list, you can just link it to uh, this URL, replace this with your own username, and it will show the deck you have currently selected as your deck hub extension deck. So this will put me directly to the deck I currently have selected as my Twitch deck, enabling viewers to get a direct link to the website from your chat. Another good thing to know is that you can put any deck as your Twitch deck. If I want any deck that is public, that is. So if I want to, if I see a deck that I want to play, I export it to Arena. I can just click this button and this is now my selected deck on Twitch. The only thing you need to know about this is that if uh, the creator deletes the deck, uh, it will uh, it will disappear. So it will not show anything in your Twitch extension. So this concludes our little tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you in the next one.